we'll introduce the arc thanks form you the for polar coordinates. I don't have a huge amount to say about this. The derivation of the form you the is quite ugly. I don't want to do it in any detail. Instead, I'll simply give the form to the that the arc length is the integral of the square root of r squared plus the derivative. Thankfully, the derivative of r with respect to theta, not that horrible derivative of y with respect to x, d theta. And there's our form to the, and just as with arc length, when we were looking at the standard rectangular coordinates, you're only rarely going to be able to actually evaluate this thing by hand. But for example, Consider R equals negative four times the sine of a theta. Where theta is between a zero and pi. This is a circle with a radius of two. Its arc length is its circumference, which is four pi. Let's see if we can get that using the integral formula. To use this formula, we'll need r squared. 16 times the sine squared. We'll need dr d theta and then we'll need dr d theta squared. So the arc length is the integral from zero to pi of the square root of, and you see we have a sine squared and a cosine squared. This may look very ugly, but if you remember your Pythagorean identity, it actually isn't. The sine squared plus the cosine squared is one. And we have a constant here. The square root of 16, which is four. So four theta evaluated from zero to pi does give us the answer we were expecting, that arc length is the circumference is 4 pi.